the best hoop show in the Wabash Valley, Rick Zemler and Casey Miller. Good evening and welcome to In the Paint. Hard to believe, counting tonight, we have just three Friday nights left in the Indiana High School basketball regular season. Things really starting to wind down. That's right. And tonight we had some interesting matchups. A Vigo County showdown between Terre Haute South and West Vigo. Two red hot teams squaring off Bloomfield and Washington. Ranked teams meeting in Montgomery as Bar Reeve and South Knox face off. And Shoals looking to do something they haven't done since the 90s, plus a lot of other good games in the area tonight. For the second time this season, West Vigo and Terre Haute South faced each other back on December 26th. They met on the opening day at the first financial Wabash Valley Classic. The Braves won that game 64 43 tonight. You had two teams going in opposite directions. The Braves have dropped nine in a row, while the Vikings were looking to match their longest winning streak of the season at three straight. The Vigo County showdown took place at the Green Dome, tied at 23 at the half. Check out the first hoop of the second half from South Braylon. Apollo, wow! How'd he pull off that circus shot? Vikings Colton Yates with a sweet spin move. He finds Sean Roberts who lets it fly from three. He drains it, draws the foul. Roberts would complete the four point play to bring West Vigo to within three. Cordell Haynes had 19 for South. He ends the third with a jumper over the West Vigo defender. Braves 41 35 going to the fourth. Final quarter. Colton Yates Yank banks in two. Was Vigo hanging around down 45 41. Jacob Rutledge has been playing great for South off the bench. The kid can light it up from distance. He is three, pushes the Braves lead out to seven. Less than two to go. Was Vigo down five. Zion Stevens gets the steal. No one stops him. He takes it the other way, drills the jumper. Vikes down 52 49. Same score. Vikings get the ball back. They find Colin Sawyers in the corner. You know it's going in. Sawyers ties the game at 52 with a minute to play. Game still tied. West V ball, but they turn it over. Haynes races the other way and gets hammered with 29 seconds left. Haynes would miss the first one, but he gets the second free throw to go to give South a 53-52 lead. Five seconds to go now. West Vigo ball down one. The Vikes can't even get a shot off. To get the win, Cordell Haynes with his ninth steal of the game to seal it for the Braves. Haynes played incredible defense. That bucket counted, by the way, at the buzzer. Terre Haute South wins 55-52. Braves snap a nine-game losing streak, and they beat West Vigo for the 11th consecutive time. Terre Haute North had a conference in the end of road game at Bloomington North. I'll tell you what, can't leave Michael Dunnigan open, or he'll do that. He's the splash brother of the Wabash Valley. Cayman Hayes wears number 11 for Terre Haute North. He had 11 tonight for the Patriots. His soft touch goes in. These two teams just went back and forth at each other. Chris Thomas from distance, good for Bloomington North. Fourth quarter, Brayton Eddington, great pass inside to Dalton Sturm for a Patriots hoop. Patriots down one just over a minute to go. Eddington, a shot fake, wide open, money. Terre Haute North 48 47 at 13. North down one. Cayman Hayes with the ball. The seniors ready to be a hero. Cayman straight to the 10. Would not be stopped. His layup with five seconds left gives the good guys a 50 49 advantage. I know a happy dad at home, Mr. Heath. I know you like that. Hayes is pumped up. Why not? Bloomington North, one last chance for the win. Good defense by Terre Haute North. And they hold on to win a thriller. Patriots take this one. Love to see the celebration there by the Patriots. 50 to 49, thanks to Cayman Hayes, game winner. And how about Terre Haute North after starting 0 and 6? Casey, they are now 10 and 8 on the season. Very impressive. Well, tonight, two of the hottest teams in the Wabash Valley meet on the court. Washington puts its 13 and 5 record on the line against 11 and 6 Bloomfield. Both squads have won five of their last six games, but only one makes it six to seven tonight. Cardinals hosting the Hatchets. Early on in this one, Hunter Killian gets behind the defense. He goes straight up to the rim for an easy two. Now, Bloomfield's first possession took nearly two full minutes, but hey, the payoff was nice. Grayson Medina alley oop pass to Andrew Shelton. That ties the game in the opening minutes. Hatchets respond, though. Tyson Wright pushes it up to Grant Niehaus. He lays it in at the rack as Washington gets back out in front. But coming back at you here, Shelton over to Turner Royal. He fools everybody, including my camera work, on the pass fake there. He rattles in the three. Bloomfield going to keep the hot streak going as the Cardinals down the hatchets. 57-46. Bloomfield hitting their stride late in the season now, 12-6. and 6. 
on the year. Meanwhile, North Central coach Vance Edmondson faces his old team for the first time tonight as the T-Birds visit Clay City. Opening moments of the second half, North Central's James Roberts turns into the lane, floats it up for two. That put the T-Birds up by 15 points in the third. When you hear something like that, it probably means a comeback is brewing. Corbin Crosby buries the three for the Eels, puts up 16 points in this one. Later, Ethan Rogers bringing it up. The give back here from Nathan Owens. Rogers knocks down the three for Clay City. He also chips in 16 points, and all of a sudden, the Eels are back in it. Nathan Owens, the steal. He scores on the fast break to give Clay City the lead after back to back buckets from him. Then to the fourth quarter, they're just having fun now. Rogers, the lob. Owens, the finish, the alley oop says it all. Second half is all Clay City. Check out Bryce Patterson here. He takes it to the rack, gets the foul for the and one and a three point play. Get this a 29 point wow. swing in the second half for Clay City. That's a tough way to lose for the T Birds. But the Eels balling out in the second half. They come away with a win 71 56, the final. Still to come, North Vermillion, Park Heritage, and RP all in action. We head up north after the break. Plus, we have all the highlights from the big rank showdown between Bar Reeve and South Knox in the paint. We'll be right back.